Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my one month review of my solar system. We're gonna go over February, 2021 solar production. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. For those of you that use my referral link to order your solar system, thank you very much. I have the link in the description. Here are the rewards. Uh, if you order solar panels or roof, you get a hundred dollar reward. If you order any car, you get 1,000 free supercharger miles. And let's get to the data. So my loan is uh, 20 years. I'm paying 235. That's with a 16.28 kilowatt system and two power walls. My electricity bill for this month, instead of paying 180, which was on a flat rate fee, I only have to pay $15. But we got the solar loan. So my previous month was 125. That's when I changed it to month to month because I was under a contract before that where I would play, play I would pay 180 flat fee every month. So with that being said, I did sell 301 kilowatts to Reliant and I used 417. Still a little blurry there. Okay, the only thing I don't like is that, bear with the blurriness, it's a screenshot from my phone. My monthly cycle starts on the 25th and it ends on the 23rd. So I wish it would have been like from the 1st to the 30th or whatever. But we can see here we used last year about 1,125. And then this year we used 417 plus our credit. So with our walls, technically you're not saving money, but you get the peace, peace of mind that you have backup storage. So let me show you a picture. We're gonna go over the, the monthly, weekly, and then some days, the best day and the worst day of my solar production. So here is the month of January. I didn't get permission to operate till this day right here. And I think this day Tesla was testing out my system. Then I went off grid for a day to test it out myself. So for January, I produced 387 kilowatt hours, and I think my system in January should produce about a thousand if I go the full month. Yeah, so the 25th, I did 17.3 kilowatt hours. Okay, here we go. February, 882 kilowatt hours. And I think it was supposed to produce right about a thousand as well in February. Winter is least uh, UV that we get, so produce a little less. Now, what really affected us was the week before the storm. It was super cloudy. You can see here, this whole two weeks was bad for solar production. And I think we also had like a, for a week, we had to be driving about two hours a day. So I was using about 40% of my car's battery for a whole week. So I think if I weren't to do that, I would have been with some credits. Okay, so here is the first week of my billing cycle. Did pretty good except Saturday, probably a rainy, cloudy day. But 268 for the first, uh, from the 25th to the 31st. Then the first week of February, uh, 282 what was the last week. So 268, 282. We did a little bit better except Friday was also probably rainy. And then this week was just. That we did 103 kilowatt hours, and mostly it was just 
bad weather, like raining, cloudy. Then we get to the fun, adventurous week that we had here in Texas. Monday, my panels had snow on them. Not a lot, maybe half an inch at the most. We were able to produce 27 kilowatts. And then Wednesday was just super cloudy and it was like drizzling all day. And we'll, we'll show you a screenshot of that production. Yeah, so Monday, February 15, 27.3. I think Tuesday I would... I could have produced more, but we weren't connected to the grid, so my panels were shutting off. And I'll show you an example of that here in a bit. So 26.7 on Tuesday was a sunny day. And then Wednesday, which was the worst day, 7.6 kilowatts since I got the system. Then we got one of my better days, 59. So this is a screenshot of like a perfect sunny day. We can see here there are no spikes. It's just a smooth line. And I produced 62.6 .6 kilowatt hours. So this is the best day so far since I got my system installed. And this is the worst day. You can see here all the little spikes. Just clouds moving and covering the panels and yeah, just a bad day for solar protection. So this is the interesting day. This is the day that we were off grid. And it's smooth going up here. And then my power walls probably filled up. My car was charged. I tried charging everything that I could, but it still kept turning off my panels. Because there was nowhere for the electricity to go. So here is the grid. We probably lost power around one in the morning. And then we got it for five minutes. I remember we were like, oh, we got power. And then it just disappeared after five minutes. Then we got it back like 11, I want to say, 11 p.m. But yeah, so we were off grid here. The batteries were powering up the house when it's up here. And then they were charging. And then here they were discharging. So what happens here is when there's nowhere for the energy to go, the panels shut off. We discharge from the battery till it gets to around 95%. And then the panels kick back on, charged up the battery, and it kept doing that over and over. And then here, the blue is my usage, energy usage for the house. I think I plugged in my car, I charged it to, I was at 90%, I charged it to 95. And I was charging any electronic device that I had just to take advantage of the electricity. Here is a picture of the panels covered in snow. Not a lot, it melted that same day because it was a sunny Monday. So I do want to share with you on my system. They don't have, I have a 14.28. It's not here because I ordered the 12.24 and then I added six panels. So here they kind of have like, um, not showing. Pretty much an average. Now this is with uh, there we go. So if I I didn't get the power walls, I would be yeah. This is a little bit wrong here. Oh, because I think I have the eight one eighty. So before I had the 180, I was saving. I don't remember how much I was going to save, but electricity cost, they're saying it's going to be 47. We saw that it was 15, but I think I can get it closer to zero. We'll find out next month. 
So basically, I would have been saving somewhere around sixty dollars just with solar, uh, with my estimates so far with one month, which is not a lot of uh, reference. But once you add the power walls, which to me, I'm glad I had them. With my system, it's two thirty-five, so it says it'll break even in. For my savings in 25 years is 591. I think it's going to be a little bit higher than that. I did the math. My panels should break even within eight years if the prices stay consistent. And then the power walls, I think, is closer to 15. But yeah, if you guys have any questions about the panels, I will try my best. I did say something last week, but that I guess uh, I was a little mistaken was. If you have solar panels and you have some sort of a gateway, you're able to be off grid. Uh, when you order a system with Tesla, they automatically give you a gateway when you have the power walls. So that's what's that's what uh, has a relay and it shuts you off from sending power to the grid. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below, and I will try to ask you. I mean, answer them as uh, soon as I can. The other thing I was going to say, if you're in the market, please use my referral code. I will really appreciate it. I think if I get 10 referrals, I will be able to get one free power wall. So I hope they still have that going on, the promotion they have. And so far, the system performed amazing. I was had power during the power crazy Texas power outage. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it performs. I will be doing an update in March. Maybe after that, I'll do it in six months and then one year, see how, how it performs. So subscribe to the channel so you can keep updated. And I do have other uh, solar related videos. So, thanks for watching.